How fast is a dedicated solid state drive compared with a fusion drive? We are often told that SSD has the best performance, blazing speed, the only choice to upgrade. But how accurate is it when compared with a fusion drive? I'm going to conduct a test in this video. Before we go ahead, I would like to introduce this channel, Eric Sivo and Watson, which comprises various topics for big boys. If you are interested in my topics, please do not hesitate to subscribe so that you will get informed that when there are new videos in YouTube. Now back to the topic. The subject matter of the test is a Mac Mini Ledge 2012. It currently has a Fusion Drive installed which comprises a 480GB SSD and a 1TB hard disk. And I'm going to replace the whole Fusion Drive with a 2TB SSD. The 2TB SSD is manufactured by OWC and the price is $360 US dollars. Whereas a Fusion Drive comprises a 480GB SSD and a 1TB hard disk costs only $180 US dollars. Does the excess price reflect a proportional productivity? Here's the OWC Mercury Electrica 6G solid state drive. Shipped it with the upgraded kit. Here's the screwdriver and the tools. The express enclosure. the USB cable and the 2TB solid state drive Here's the methodology of comparing the speed between the Fusion Drive and the dedicated SSD I will first install the Mac OS High Sierra on the Mac Mini Trice one with the Fusion Drive and one with the dedicated SSD. Then, I will restore the Time Machine back up into the drive, respectively. After that, I will compare the time required to start up and the time required to launch some major applications. Despite there are so many hard drive testers about this topic when you ask Google, those are merely numbers. In my opinion, user experience is equally important than numbers. That's why we have the settings here. Now the Mac Mini is ready. First is the startup test. On the left hand side of the screen, it is the Fusion Drive and on the right hand side, the dedicated SSD. It seems that for the startup speed, there is no difference between the two. And then we will compare the speed between launching different applications side by side. I'm recording the screen by the quick time. And then I will compare the desktop videos side by side. On the main screen, we have the Fusion Drive and the smaller screen, we have the SSD. 
I'm opening the applications one by one. And the drive, regardless of fusion drive or SSD, which launches the application faster, will be rewarded one point of score. The speed of the screen is reduced by half so that you can have a better comparison between the two drives. After the test, I found that the advantage of a dedicated SSD over the Fusion Drive is not that obvious. 
but obviously you have to pay more. So do you think it's worthwhile to do so? Here is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments about this video, you are welcome to leave a message to me. I'm so grateful to receive any message from you guys. Thank you so much. Bye bye.